Okay, so today we're not gonna climb any mountains. I'll just quickly show you around Rakiv, which is it actually a small town because there are only 15,000 people living here. And there are not many interesting places, I have to say. Um, I'm gonna show you one place. We are here in, the, in, this, in this lovely park at this moment. Um, I want to show you something now. By the way, I have already checked out from the hostel in around three hours. I'm gonna take a train to well to our next destination but first let me just show you around this place so I was walking here yesterday in the evening and then I found this guy here this monument or wooden statue I would rather say of well of that gentleman there now obviously I have no idea who that is um, but the guy is holding ukulele and he looks like a typical Bogdan and that's his name actually what well, I gave him that name yesterday he literally looks like a typical Bogdan no but seriously when you look at him he looks like that typical Slavic Bogdan who is around 40 who's got that a uh, beer belly just over there and the typical Slavic Bogdan is a person who usually goes to all of those bars and pubs um, in those local villages here, drinks a lot of beer or a lot of cognac, and then he starts all of those fights with babushkas and with everyone. And then his cousins and uncles are saying, no Bogdan, enough! enough of fighting Bogdan let's go home let's drink something back home and he is like yet he still want to fight with babushkas that's our Bogdan now let's be more serious Bogdan is a representative of the Hutsuls so the ethnic group who live in Zakarpathia he obviously doesn't hold ukulele but instrument which is called kobza there are around 30,000 Hutsuls living in Carpathian mountains. Now, Rakiv is located in a valley, so all around the city you've got, you've got mountains, pretty much. And you don't have to be an experienced hiker to go there, because like just to go there, for example, or on the other side, when we've been yesterday, um, it takes, I don't know, like maximum half an hour, up to one hour just to see and to enjoy those views which is really nice um, there's a problem though that the city is in that valley because in the evenings for example when everyone is using wood or carbon to for the central heating of of the houses the smoke the smoke is like all around this town and it's really difficult to walk in this air pollution. Yeah, it was really bad actually yesterday. Um, yeah, it was really bad. Other than that, it's lovely here. Okay, so now we are pretty much in the city center of Rakiv. And what's behind me, there's one restaurant there, there is that blue building over there, and a huge eastern egg, even though it's October. Yeah, I really don't know why the egg is still there. Maybe it's just waiting for the eastern. I have no idea. Anyway, there is one really pretty church I'm gonna show you. It's just across the street. So let's go there. The church right behind me, I think that's the prettiest building here in, in Rakiv. Um, but what's also so pretty about this specific place are those mountains, are those views that we've seen yesterday. And it's just a perfect place if you wanna just come here, enjoy the nature, enjoy mountains, do some hikes, but not too ambitious hikes, let's say. <laughs> so you can just enjoy 
the nature and you can just enjoy those views that we've seen yesterday.